वेलकम स्टूडेंट ऑन अनादर वीडियो लेक्चर टॉपिक इज फ्लेवेनॉइड इन दैट द ड्रग इज टी बायोलॉजिकल सोर्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रिपेयर्ड लीव्स लिप बर्ड्स ऑफ थियासिनेसिस बिलोंगिंग टू फैमिली थियसी सो लिव बर्ड्स एंड लीव्स दे आर यूज एज अ ड्रग पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट विच इज यूज एज अ ड्रग दैट इज लिव बर्ड्स एंड लीव्स विच आर यूज एज अ ड्रग एंड बॉटनिकल नेम इज थियासिनेसिस एंड फैमिली इज थियसी geographical source it is mainly cultivated in india in assam ceylon japan and java all these country they are cultivating this tea leaves the, the tea are of two types first one is black tea and second one is uh, green tea the black tea is the tea which is available from india and sri lanka whereas green tea uh, that is available from japan and china this uh, black tea they are uh, cal- uh, prepared by collecting the uh, tea leaves and uh, then they are fermented so fresh leaves are collected then they are fermented and after fermentation then they are subjected to uh, artificial drying and in this way the black tea is produced and green tea that is obtained by Uh, keeping the leaves in uh, copper vessel and then they are drying artificially so the tea leaves are collected and then they are placed in copper vessel and then they are artificially dried in this way green tea is produced so tea is the most important beverage from crop of india and uh, it is a shade loving plant and uh, that uh, Um, it requires a shed in shed it grows vigorously so um, the tea leaves uh, they are cultivated uh, or they are planted in between the trees uh, which providing shed and in this way when the shed is provided by other tree to the tea plant then uh, it will go, grow vigorously now cultivation and collection It is an evergreen shrub growing from 4 meter by 2.5 meter at slow rate. Rate of um, germination as well as rate of growth is all a very slow in case of tea leaves. It can grow in semi shade, uh, semi shade condition. It is always preferable because that other tree will providing shade to the plant and then the plant will grow vigorously. It requires moist soil. as well as required well drained soil because um, that uh, plant will not favor water logging if the water logging is occur then the roots become leach as well as deteriorate and for that reason the well drained soil is preferable for its cultivation and so for that reason the trees are grow on hilly areas hill areas where there will water will not uh, Uh, log and it will drain out uh, such uh, areas are preferable for its cultivation it is reported to tolerate an annual rainfall of 70 to 310 cm and average annual temperature range of 14 to 27 degrees celsius ph in the range of 4.5 to 7.3 so ph range is uh, favorable for its growth and development is 4.5 and 7.3 and rainfall is 70 to 310 cm and temperature range is 14 to 27 degrees celsius temperature is best suitable for its growth proper growth and development the seed sowing method is used for its cultivation seed as uh, can be sown as soon as it ripe in greenhouse so when the uh, ripe seeds they are collected from greenhouse as soon as their collection then they are uh, immediately used for uh use for uh, germination or uh, so stored seeds can also be used when stored seeds are used then they are pre soaked for 24 hours in warm water and so that the hard covering around the micropyle that will get uh, remove and uh, it will um, faster the rate of germination it usually germinates in 1 to 3 months because it requires slow germination rate is there it will germinate in 1 to 3 months uh, and for that reason if the seeds are stored then they are pre soaked in warm water 
then uh, when the uh, seedlings or when the plant uh, when the plant become in a flash to handle and uh, grow them in light shade in greenhouse for uh, at least uh, their first winter first winter they are in the greenhouse so, uh, so that um, after permanent uh, transferring to the permanent position they will properly grow for that reason at least for first winter season they are in the greenhouse the plant them out in their permanent position when they are more than 15 centimeter tall when the plant height becomes more than 15 centimeter tall then they are transported into the permanent position and Seedlings take near about 4 to 12 hours before they start to produce seed. So, 4 to 12 hours are required for the seedlings so that they will produce the seed and for further germination. When they become 15 to um, more than 15 centimeter tall, then they are um, transferred into the permanent position. Their proper uh, care should be taken, proper breeding is done, and to increase the yield of the leaves. Uh, they are provided with nitrogenous fertilizer for example ammonium sulfate that is uh, provided to increase the yield and then they are um, collected during collection the skilled persons are required so that uh, 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 proper uh, leaves should be picked up uh, by the person well trained uh, persons are used for its culti uh, collection then they are uh, dried and after drying they are packed in a air heat light uh, light resistance or um, air or moisture proof packaging is provided so that they will remain as it is as well as their um, chemical constituent and the their flavor and uh, that should be remain as it is for that reason proper care should be taken while packing these uh, leaves after drying uh, various drying method artificial drying methods are used for drying these leaves after drying these leaves then they are packed in a container while packing in the container they should be protected from air heat light and moisture so that uh, all the constituent and their concentration remain as it is and uh, because they are used for medicinal purposes now morphology leaves you can see here these are the leaves which are dark green in color this shape is known as lance shape so shape of the leaf is lance shape so it is a lanceolate leaves or elliptical leaves and short stalk you can see here the stalk is very short short stalk and blunt at apex apex is somewhat blunt it is not pointed blunt apex base tapering margin shortly serrated this margin is uh, known as serrated margin serrated margin means blade like margin you can see here these are this one is the serrated blade like margin and uh, young leaves are hairy if the leaves are young then uh, they, these are hairy and older leaves are glabrous uh, glabrous means when there is no hairs over the surface such leaves are known as glabrous leaves so old leaves when you, when you are selecting then the hairs are not present but when young leaves are selected the leaves are hairy this one is the flower of uh, tea leaves tea plant and these are the seeds of tea plant and these are the leaves which are used as a drug for medicinal purposes so this is about the cultivation collection and morphology of the tea leaves if you like my video please press the like button and subscribe my channel thank you